Welcome back to another video. My name is Grimmy for 2458 and today we're going to be looking over some thrifting finds. Today was an interesting day. Uh, I went out to hardware store, a game store, and a Goodwill. Today's going to be a little mix of stuff because there's some smaller things that I would make videos on but that just never got around to it. So I'm going to be showing off what I bought at the thrift store and then I'll go over what stuff that I just was, didn't earn a video by itself into this video. And then we'll go on to uh, video game stuff because I don't know why, but I just like to put it here. I know some people don't really care to watch that. Um, by the way, thank you for 60 subscribers. I just noticed that yesterday. I'm kind of freaking out that uh, 60, it's like that much closer to 100. Also, the last thr thrifting video has 90 views, which is insane. So thank you guys for either sharing that video or just finding and recommending and figuring why not. I'll just watch it. So that's enough of me blabbing on. I'll just get ready to show you things. First of all is this uh, double down. I can't really read it. <laughs> the paint is really faded. Uh, it's a double down. It's a Nightfinder style blaster where you pull the T-pull back and fire it. But the difference is, is it has two darts, and it's a smart, I <coughs> smart AR. A smart AR is a system that alters which dart is being used. I think it goes left to right, but if you just put a dart in, say, the right side, it will fire the right side. This is only three bucks. Uh, it's not bad. And I hope to put some K26 in it, maybe uh, make this shotgun pistol. Next find, which I am definitely modifying, is a dual strike. I got this because I haven't seen one in person, and it's a it's a chunky boy. Uh, everything here does work, obviously. I should probably just say that now. Uh, it's four bucks, and I do plan to plug all the holes in it. And it's going to be a really nice blaster. I might change the handle because the handle's pretty short for me. Although it fits my hand, it's very uh, disappointing, I guess, to the size of this blaster. Maybe I'll incorporate some other shell into the back here, but that's for a different day. Next thrifting find was a blazing bow. It's way too big to fit in frame right now. Um, it was five bucks. It was a jump to Mega XL for me. I will take out this AR and plug the holes down here. Uh, supposedly, the Mega XL darts will fit over the old end strike blasters that use the arrows. So I'm actually really excited to try these out. So I'm going to have an excuse to obviously buy a Mega XL like I just said. Um, I will upgrade the spring in here because I know it can take a beefy spring. I came with no arrows, which I saw this last week and I didn't pick it up and I saw it this week and I figured why not. Uh, I've never seen a blazing bow ever and I kind of always wanted one. So that was a neat find. Going through uh, a couple months, I've acquired some things that I just didn't feel like videos were worthy on them. Um, JSP, who you might know at this point, uh, he sent me my long shot, which was actually a really good thrift find. If you want to watch more on that, I will leave the video in the description box below of it. Along with that box, he sent me an ERTL, which is a pump action rotating barrel. Uh, shotgun from Bass Pro Shops. Um, it's a very cool blaster. The grip is very tiny for me. But I plan to just keep it because it's nice. It's not vintage, but it's a nice looking blaster to just have on the wall. In a recent pickup or a recent uh, JSP haul, he sent me a Kronos and a Zeus. The Kronos I needed for the the catch. I couldn't think of the name for it. And then uh, I wanted a Zeus for a while because of the, the nice shell. I want to use this front end and I know people do a lot with the stocks with this thing whether that be just grips or actual stocks on say a Raven. Uh, he said he just he'll send me one. He had both colors. I just said send me this most scratched up one and this one is yellowed. 
but I do not mind that one bit because it's just going to get hacked up for the shell anyway. I haven't taken the time to actually strip this down because I'm not sure if I'll do that yet or modify this and then do that. So, that was very nice of him. On another thrifting visit a while ago, when it was still nice and summer outside, I found this small soldier's blaster. And it is broken, sadly. Uh, right here would be where the scope is. Uh, the rail is chipped off. Also, the pump is broken off. And there's some schmutz in the barrel that I've tried to peel off, but it's not going. I tried to fix this, but these caps are solvent welded on, and I don't want to break or risk breaking the caps because it's such a rare blaster. Um, I would have included this in the rare blasters video, but the day that video went up, uh, I did actually find this blaster, so I couldn't really just put that in. I mean, I could have, but it would take more effort than probably needed for just a little blaster there. Um, Joel King 627 did send me a messenger, which is very, very kind of him. He also sent me a kit for a stinger uh, with the jolt pistol thing, which I will make a video on eventually. So that's all the nerf out of the way. I'll just go into the stuff that I found in, or it's not the stuff that I found, but stuff that I bought at the hardware store. I did buy two sticks of fix-it stick. I am currently trying to finish this thing. I just have the, this line to do and some other small stuff. I have this side pretty well done, because I actually do really like this side. Uh, more on this when it's done. And they did raise the price for this, it was $3 and now it's 6 so that's not fun. Uh, so that's the end of all the nerf stuff. Feel free to click off if you're just here for the nerf. But I will show off what I got uh, at the game store. So, recently when I went to Goodwill, I did find an Atari 2600, which is in a console that I've wanted for quite a while, ever since I saw it. And I picked up a controller, because mine, I think, is off-brand, because these aren't painted. It is also broken. Uh, this one is very nice and stiff, like an Atari 2600. It wasn't too expensive, 10 bucks for an official uh, Atari 2600 controller. Um, I can't test the system yet because I don't have an adapter for the video and audio out to a RF cable adapter yet, so I still need to get one of those. Along with it, I got two games. Uh, I got Kaboom, which is really, like, disgusting looking. Also, the label's bleached. And I got Frogger, an all-time classic. Yes, this does need to be cleaned. It's absolutely disgusting. They weren't too expensive. Six bucks, ten bucks. So, that is all I got for this run and some little updates on new things that were just sent to me. So, I hope this video was interesting to watch. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.